Hello everyone, welcome to Test Engine tutorial. I am Raghavind Misra, and in this video, we are going to learn data providers in Test Engine. What are data providers? How to use data providers in Test Engine? Inherited data providers. How to pass multiple parameters in Test Engine data providers? Data providers with method as a parameter. So, I am going to write a Test Engine class for each of the topics and questions I have listed down and jotted down in this slide. So let's go to the Eclipse and discuss in detail. So I'll create a new test ng class. And I'll pick SRC test Java as a source folder. And I will create my data provider test class. All right, so I have created a data provider test uh, class, test ng class, and you can see we get one test method here by default. And just above this, you can write your data provider. So Just before this, let me just quickly tell you what is the data provider. So data provider is nothing but the annotation which help us write data driven test cases. Basically the data provider annotation enable us to run a test method multiple times by passing different data sets. Okay. So we will be writing this annotation data provider annotation. So we will give a name to this data provider. So this can be data provider de demo and what it will do so basically i'm going to write a data provider method now and that will be returning a two dimensional array of objects so for that test method or i can name it as dp method and simply I will be returning objects so basically I will be passing I will be passing values to my test method so first value will be 1 and the second value will be 2 so these are two values which I, I will be passing to my test method and this test method should know which data provider I am going to use right. So I will be just mentioning the name data provider yes. and I will give the name which is DP demo okay and here in this test method what you can see what you can do like uh, it these are the two arguments which I am passing to this test method and uh, these will be receiving right so this parameter will be receiving these two arguments arguments string type arguments right one and two so let me just have one string variable and I will just simply print them so data received from data providers data providers okay so i will just print a string so what it will do so it as the definition suggest or def definition tell it will be passing these two data sets to this uh, to this test method in test ng class right so it will be passing one data set and it will be printing one and it will be print uh, again passing to second argument to this and it will be receiving that as a string and it will it will be printing that two so one and two so this test method will be called twice okay when it is using this uh, data provider so let me run it
and you can see uh, there are two test cases which are passed okay so the only uh, two uh, it that same test is called twice basically so only one test execution and it has executed two times okay you can see data received from data providers one and two okay so those two test cases are passed all right and the test run is one and you see the total test run is equal to two so this has been called twice okay so this is simple example of like uh, data provider okay where we are using single parameter all right so this is single parameter and we are passing two values two arguments to this now let's go back to the slide and see how to use data provider so you you get better understanding of data provider right how we can use data provider in test ng class now we will see how to inherit data providers okay let's go back to the eclipse and create one more class quickly so i'll be creating inside the same src test java and let me just write it as inherit dp so this is my class and how i am going to inherit that uh, data provider so basically we can keep um, data provider and test methods these two annotation in separate uh, class okay so in this i will be using the test method and in this data provider test i will be removing this test method clear right so basically i am keeping this data provider here in this uh, data provider test class and in inherit dp.java i will be using or i will be inheriting the data provider inside this class so for that i will be using the data provider name of course which is nothing but the dp demo dp demo and what additional i will type here is like to inherit data provider class and what is that class name is so you have to provide that uh, class name data provider test dot class all right so let's see there is some so you have to make sure you are using this is case sensitive right so you have to use the exact name so we have inherited that class data provider class test class inside the test method okay and now what you can do you can do the same thing say f1 and you can just receive those two arguments in the string variable and we'll just print it we will be printing it okay so what are those data which we will be receiving from the data providers will be printed here so again one and two right so this time i'm not um, executing or running this data provided test class data provided test dot java i'm running executing this inherit dp dot java okay so again the, we get the same result okay one and two data one and two let's keep it something like this so this method is called twice okay and that is the beauty of data provider so here we are passing two uh, data sets right similarly you can pass a number of you know data sets to this and you have to use the same so suppose if i am not giving the name of my data provider so it will be using the same uh, dp method okay so we can use a dp method as a name of that data provider so suppose if i am removing so i can use dp method as a uh, data provider name here in this test method so instead of that you can use dp method all right so let's go to the next topic which we have so we have covered this far and now how to pass multiple parameters in test ng data providers so passing multiple parameters in test ng data providers is similar to the passing uh, uh, passing to the single uh, parameter so rather here we will be passing multiple values okay so how we can achieve that so let's go back to the data provider class again and i will be writing the same test method annotation and i will be using rather i will copy the same thing from here and use it directly just to save our time and uh, i'll remove this thing because we don't need this this time okay and what i can do i can pass uh, 
multiple values so i will remove so let me pass 2 3 and let me pass 1 2 maybe 4 all right so what i'm going to uh, do here is like i'll be receiving those multiple values as an integer right so those are those seems to be integer so i'll be receiving them in this test method called f1 okay and say result maybe and what i am going to do here is i'm going to just sum it okay so i'll be writing sum equal to a plus b okay and what i will do maybe i will assert i will write assert dot assert equal assert equals and uh, result is my actual and expected is sum okay so this is what i'm going to do here so i should get what should i get i'll be receiving one two and three right so i'll be receiving one in a i'll be receiving uh, argument two uh, in b parameter and uh, three in the result okay so one plus two i'm adding sum so this should be three okay sum equal to three and the result is three so this test will be passed and this will be failed so i'll be receiving one and two the sum of one and two will be three but here the actual is four okay so let's run it it should pass one and fail one pass one and fail one let's see the result why where it is failed it is failed with the excel uh, in the assertion right so it is expected is three expected is three this is expectation and this is the actual as i said okay but found four okay so yeah that's it in this let's go back to the next example next point or question we have in this slide data providers with method as a parameter so we can a data providers accept method as a parameter so how we can do that so let me go to this slide and just before that to cover that i'll show you like uh, where exactly and how exactly in the real world you can use this pro data provider right so instead of this let me just go to this and write something like this google.com okay so i'll be passing these as a argument to my test method www.facebook.com okay and here in this what you can do you can just let me copy that uh, from here just before test i will add to this before before test and i will basically yeah that's it so yeah we are done um i'll put this after class also after test method in my class test ng class and i have to declare that web driver okay and uh, i need to import that so i'll be importing that so maybe that is giving the issue for that only so we have to import that web driver class to i mean package and yeah just everything is same and setup and data provider we are using so we will not be we will be uh, modifying this slightly so i'll be receiving them as a string so these two url i will be receiving and what i will do here is like uh, i will just invoke them okay so driver dot get url so instead of url i am going to pass that string 
okay here and i'll close that also after test i'm going to close the driver okay so hope you understand this so basically uh, this is the real world example realistic example of using you know data provider and you can use uh, these data providers very efficiently in your uh, you know test method so basically this is whole and soul of your automation test methods so here you can use just to reduce the number of line or number of you know uh, basically the huge amount huge amount of code to you know uh, minimum number line um, to minimum lines basically so you don't need to write uh, more lines inside the test method so rather uh, to to reduce the uh, code number of lines basically you can uh, use the data provider right so here let's run this so it will be opening two urls now so first google.com and then facebook you see that right and the test should have been passed so first it opens this and so we can assert you can we can put asserts and we can get title and uh, make sure it is actually opening that url okay so you can see those two test tasks are passed so basically i have written those two i have uh, executed only one test but that test uh, has been called twice okay i hope this is clear let's go to the next question data providers with method as a parameter so i'll be going to this i'll be writing a another java as i promised so i'll be writing multiple params or method as a param right okay so this is that and let me copy the existing code to this i'll make i will change the class name because i have copied it from the existing class so that is method param param so that is the class name and now what you can do you can accept that as a method as a parameter okay so what we are going to do here is method and what we will do let me remove this one two say three and i'll be passing integer argument to my test method and say four and here inside this so guys uh, please stay tuned uh, with me uh, throughout this video so that i can explain you what is uh, what is uh, uh, how how we can make use of this data providers with method as a parameter okay so we can a uh, data providers accept a method as a parameter so that is very very important so you should know how we can use <laughs> method as a parameter okay to reduce the uh, number of lines in your automation script okay so here and inside this method basically what you can do so instead of this passing this i will be writing switch case and here i'll be just get the name of that method and let me write one method we are using one method called what is our method our method is f1 maybe i will change it to sum and then yeah and uh, what we can do we can i will remove this setup i will be using three arguments i will be passing uh, three arguments and i will be giving three parameters to receive here okay so this is that method name which we are accepting as a, a parameter okay and here i will give you i will give the case as sum so that is my method name 
basically okay and this would be i i should be receiving returning the object two dimensional object object right two dimensional array of object and what you have to do so basically switch and get name so i will be giving dp method and data provider that name data provider what is the name of the data provider dp demo and this method should accept m all right so return statement is correct and uh, So all right, uh, you can see right. So I have uh, created, I have added two cases here, sum and diff. Okay. So I'll be passing multiple um, arguments, one, two, three, and one, three, four, to this method. And let me create one more method here. That method will be using the test method will be using the same data provider, and uh, this will be diff method. Okay and let me just yeah and i will be subtracting b from a and let me write diff okay so let's run this and you can see these these are two methods inside two test classes two test methods in test ng class and those will be accepted as a parameter right so that is the beauty of a data provider that it accept it accept method as a parameter data provider with method as a parameter okay data provider with method as a parameter so that is that a statement here and you can clearly says uh, clearly see here in the case one and case two i am accepting i am getting the method name and accepting uh, them in two cases right if sum is this i am passing one two three so there will be four execution that uh, two methods two into two so this method will be called twice and this test method will be called twice okay so let's predict let's uh, analyze or uh, dry run what, what could be the output of this so one two and three i should get uh, two uh, i should get uh, pass a result for this call and uh, my call will be again yeah passed for this and i should I mean these two test cases these two arguments if pass to this and will be passed of course to this and uh, we will be you know getting failures so there will be two pass and two failures i'll i'll show you why so let me run to and check if that is getting so there will be zero failure uh, zero passed let's see why So in the first one it is expecting method diff one three four but found yeah but found four okay so that is diff method and let's see the diff again failed so there is only one test is getting passed okay All right. So why it is actually executing only one test? It should execute both the test. There may be something related to the priority, or we have to make sure both tests are run. Okay. Okay okay so there are two cases correct so let me just uh, one minus so i should get minus one so let me pass this test case first in the first place so i should get minus two and let's run it again to see if the test are yeah now it is executing all the test i mean yeah two test and uh, yeah you can see so why the in the first place i mean there was some problem let me just uh, 
so you can see uh, the diff diff got executed and sum sum so these two test method call twice because we are using uh, <coughs> two data sets right we are passing two argument two data sets as argument to those methods method sum and test method definition diff okay which are listed which are there inside the test annotation you can see and if you want to fix the order you can give the priority to the test cases so all right so this is what i have for you guys in this video so keep learning and i will see you in the next video thanks for watching